Okay, um, I kind of, uh, spoiled myself and bought a, um, a, uh, in-phase, uh, grid tide system. Um, there's a website on the, on the internet that, uh, that sells them, um, as a kit, really, pretty cheap. Um, with shipping and everything, I think it cost a thousand bucks. But I just wanted to get one to try one out. Um, it's a 220 watt panel, and it's come and it comes with a uh, an in phase micro inverter that actually goes underneath the panel, um, and then um, it also comes with a Unirack system. Um, and all its uh, hardware, like the stuff to put uh, the L brackets and the grounding uh, terminals and all that stuff that you need to hook it up. Um, all you need to do is run a 240 volt line up to a junction box, which is on the left hand side. I put a disconnect switch up there also. Um, so you, that's all you have to do is run um, run a 240 volt line up to the panel. And then I, um, I left some grounding wire up there um, just to add more panels later. Um, when I get more money, I'm going to add them all the way across, um, little by little. Um, you can get a um, tax credit on this. Um, not sure on how to get it quite yet. I think maybe... Um, at tax time, you can fill out the, the paperwork and everything. All right, um, we got overcast today, but um, maybe I can see what um, if see this thing in action at the meter. All right. Okay, this is the uh, meter running without anything um, turned off. Um, it's still going quite quickly um, it's hard to tell with the uh, with my sensor in the way but it's it's moving to the right there she goes you see it now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, switch everything to battery and um, then we'll see how slower it runs okay and also this is the uh, a disconnect that I have um, for the uh, in phase solar array, and that's the, just the 200, just, just the 240 volts going into this, and it's a quick disconnect. And then I have it going into the panel here. It's this one right here, it's a two pole 15. And I labeled it PV Array. Alright, so um, I'll go in and turn everything to battery. Okay, um, I'm also going to have one of these on. Uh, the bottom one's going to be on. And right now it's going to be uh, putting about 55-ish in counting. Um, every, time the sun, oh, every time the sun goes under the clouds and then comes out again. Um... But yeah, this one's going to be working also. Alright, so I'm going to be clicking over all the lighting, which is this panel here. Um, and then all the... Um, and then um, these two Xantrax, which is the uh, appliances. So each fridge has its own um, system there. Okay, so let me turn this off. Put this on battery. There we go. And then um, these two switches down here. I don't know if you can see them in the dark. Turn them on. To turn the other inverters on which are under the house and then we'll uh, 
we'll go out and see what the meter says. But now it's pumping 120. Eh, whatever. Okay, I'll go out to the meter and check it out. Okay. So here's the meter after I switched everything over to battery. I know it's really hard to see. Um, okay, she's starting to come around. Any minute now. Any day now. Any year now. Here she comes, right around the bend. Choo choo! There's the black line. She's going backwards. I'm sure it will go a lot faster, maybe in the summer, or uh, when I get more panels. somewhere and there she goes okay thanks for watching